we have worked on checkout page now we are going to create simple user table okay in our previous session we have seen whenever i click on this checkout button okay i'll come to cart now when i click on this checkout button if the user is not set then i should be redirected to login page if the user is set then it should be redirected to payment section so let me just come to checkout page and here we have written this entire condition now what we are going to do first we are going to create user table then we are going to work on registration then login and then finally payment first we are going to work on user table i'll come to database now inside our database we are having all these tables now i'm just going to create one new table i'll click on new i'll just give the table name as user table okay let it load now here i'm just going to write user underscore table okay whatever name you want you can give i'm just going to give here user table inside this first i will be having user id then i'm just going to give user name okay for better understanding i'll just write user underscore name okay let me just write user name itself then i'm just going to write user email then i have to store user password as well we are having user password i have to increase the number of columns now i want four more columns i'll just write here four i'll click on go we are having user id user name email password next i just want to store user image as well so i am just writing here user image and also i need user ip address okay whatever ip address that particular user is having we just have to store that one next i'm going to write here user address okay user will be having some address while registering so we have to give user address finally i'm just going to give user mobile okay totally eight columns we are having okay user id user name email password image ip address of the user address of the user and finally mobile of the user now for each and everything we are going to assign the data type for id i'm just going to give integer length i am not going to give because for integers if we don't give then by default it will take the length as 11 so as of now i'm not going to give any length for integer value user name i'll just write here varchar i'll be writing here 100 Length is equal to hundred. Email I'll be writing var char. Length I'm just going to write here hundred. Okay, based on your requirement, whatever you want, you can give. Password we are going to do password hashing. So I'm just going to give here var char. And length I'll be giving here two fifty five. Because whenever we are doing password hashing, it is suggested that we have to use the length as two fifty five. Then image I'm going to use var char. Length I'll be writing two fifty five. IP address also I'll give var char. Length hundred, then address. Let me just write here two fifty five itself. Then mobile number also I'm just going to give varchar, and length I'll just give here twenty. This is the data type and length we have assigned for user ID integer, user name varchar, and length as hundred. User email varchar hundred, password varchar two fifty five, image varchar two fifty five. IP address varchar hundred, address varchar two fifty five, mobile number varchar twenty. Now for this user ID, I'm just going to give auto increment value because each and every time whenever I enter the new user, I don't have to give the ID number. By default, it will be incremented by one. So I'm just going to give here auto increment. And inside this null index, I'm just going to assign the user ID as primary key. If you are not getting this, just click on this drop down. You will be having multiple options. Just click on this primary. Okay, this is how we are going to create user table. Okay, I have given the table name as user table. Whatever table name you want, you can give, and also this one, whatever column name you want, you can give. But based on the requirement, you have to do the changes. Okay, we have created the table. I'll click on save. You can see my user table is created. I'll just click on this user table. inside this this is the structure of my table user id name email mobile password okay everything we are having now first we are going to create registration form we are going to register a user then we are going to create login form we are going to check whether this user is already registered or not if the user is not registered again the user has to register again we will log in using that user credentials first we have just created this user table next we are going to work on registration and login form later on we are going to write php code for both 